How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to What Do Alien Civilizations Look Like by In A Nutshell. Alright, so I was looking at videos that I have neglected in the past because that one in a nutshell video, the gold Midas one, uh, yeah, that one got me thinking. I was like, well, surely there's ones that I've missed. So I got to looking and stuff, and, uh, shout out to Nao. I really hope I said your name right. But, uh, over on Discord, they put, hey, can you react to this one? It's really, really awesome. It's one of my favorites. And it got, a uh, Jack, I believe, Jack, Jack, G-A-K, I have no idea. But <laughs> I'm butchering names. I'm really not good with names. I apologize. So, yeah, they wanted me to react to this, so I was like, all right. Like, it looks really, really interesting to me, and it's one that I've missed. So, without any further ado, here is what do alien civilizations look like? The observable universe oh, is a big place quiet. that's been around for more than 13 billion years. Love it. Up to two trillion galaxies made up of something like 20,000 billion billion stars. That's a lot of zeros. Home galaxy. In the Milky Way alone, scientists assume there are some 40 billion Earth-like planets in the habitable zone of their stars. That's awesome. When we look at these numbers, it's hard to imagine that there is nobody else out there. <laughs> that it is true. I mean, there has to be other life somewhere. Others. Just knowing that this vast place is not dead would shift our perspective out. Already loving this video. Help us get over our irrelevant quarrels. Fist bump. But before looking for our new best friends or worst enemies, we have a problem Don't to solve. Don't think that way. What are we actually looking for? Uh huh. You have a phone, Mr. Monkey. In a universe Hello, that darkness, big and old, we have friend. to assume that civilizations start millions of years apart from each other uh -oh. and develop in different directions and speeds. That's a good way so to look at not it. Not only are we looking over distances of dozens to hundreds of thousands of light years, oh, no. we're looking for a civilization ranging from cavemen to super advanced. So we I need a it's like adventure time or something. To us to think better thoughts that make us able to search better. Are there universal rules that intelligent species follow? Oh, this is amazing, Currently, man. Civilization sample size is only one, so we may make incorrect assumptions based solely on ourselves. That's fine, Still, bro. Still going to be nothing. a very enjoyable video. We know that humans started out with nothing but minds and hands that could build tools. That is true. We know that humans are curious, competitive, greedy for resources, and expansionist. All true. The more of these qualities Rude. our ancestors had, the more successful they were in the civilization. You're not wrong. <laughs> Being one with nature is nice, but it's not the path to irrigation systems or gunpowder hey or cities. So it's reasonable to assume oh. that aliens are able to take over their home planet also I don't like have it. these qualities. Stop it! <laughs> and if aliens have to follow the same laws of physics, then there is a measurable metric for progress. Energy okay. Use. Uh huh. Okay. Very precisely. Now we're getting somewhere. We extracted from our environment. Nether portal. What is happening? Usable to do things. Right on. Started with muscles. Yeah, get it, girl. Learned to control fire. Then we made machines that used kinetic energy from water. And then we got very lazy. As our machines got better and our knowledge of materials expanded, we began to harness the concentrated energy from dead plants we dug up from the ground. As our energy Great way to put it, bro. Exponentially, so did the abilities of our civilization. Ew. Between 1800 and 2015, population size had increased sevenfold while humanity was consuming wow. 25 times more energy. It's likely that this process oh, no. will continue into the far future. Didn't Based actually think facts, about that hard scientist enough. Scientist Nikolai Kardashev developed a method of categorizing civilizations from cave dwellers okay. to gods ruling over galaxies. The Kardashev scale, a method of okay. ranking civilizations I know how to pronounce by it. their energy use. The scale has been refined and expanded on over the decades, but in general, it puts civilizations into four different categories. Okay, I know the nothing about this. civilization is able to use the available energy of their home planet. Okay. A type 2 civilization is able to use the oh my God. energy of their star and planetary system. That is amazing. Civilization is able to use the available I changed my mind. This one's cool. Galaxy. Whoa, that one sounds cool. Is able to use the available energy of multiple galaxies. These levels differ. The all-knowing eye. It's like comparing an hey. ant colony to a human metropolitan area. 
To ants, okay. we are so complex and powerful, Ooh. we might as well be gods. So to yes. make the scale more useful, we need subcategories. On oh, the lower okay. end of the spectrum, there are type 0 to type 1 civilizations. Uh. Anything from hunter-gatherers to something we okay. can achieve so like in the next few hundred you know. years. These so we categorize as that? In the Milky Way. But a civilization that is not actively transmitting radio signals into space might be as close <laughs> as our nearest stellar neighbor, the Alpha Centauri system, and we would have no yeah, way Yeah, what if they're just not advanced exist. enough for communication? But even if they transmitted radio signals like we do, it might not be very helpful. On an interstellar scale... Yeah, light years, I was about to say the invisible. distance. Our signals may extend over an impressive it 200 takes a light while. years, but this is only a tiny fraction of the Milky Way. Not to scale, thank you. And even if someone were listening, after a few light years... You're just an eye, I just realized that. Noise, oh. To identify as the source it's of face. Species. <laughs> Haven't seen Today, you in a long time. Humanity ranks at about level 0 0.75. Okay, we so we do categorize planet. there. We've created huge structures, mined and stripped mountains, removed rainforests and... Not like in the tar pit. Oh, never mind, swamps. Rivers and lakes and change the composition Where was Shrek? and temperature of the atmosphere. If progress continues and we don't make Earth uninhabitable, we will become a full <laughs> big if, buddy. civilization in the next few hundred years. Oh, a Terminator. I was too busy looking at the background. Is bound to look outside because it's likely that it's still curious, competitive, greedy and expansionist. Oh. oh. The it's a rocket. Step Rockets explode. To type two is trying to alter and mine other planets and bodies. Uh huh. This might start with outposts in space, transition to infrastructure and industries. Okay. Near the home planet, I get it. Colonies and end with terraforming other planets by changing. So it is a categorization, but you are position. able to move to a different category. As and uses more and more stuff and space, its energy consumption scales with them. Okay. So at some point, they may embark on the largest project to lower type two civilization. Civilization can take on the sun? harnessing the energy of their yes. star by building a Dyson swarm. <laughs> there we go. We Once learned about that. Once the structure is finished, energy has become if. practically unlimited for molding the yes. whole system however they see fit. And then if they think they bigger. Are still curious, competitive, greedy, and expansionist, and now have complete control over their home system, oh. stellar infrastructure in place, and the energy output of a star. The oh. next frontier moves to other stars light years away. Oh my. For a Type 2 civilization, the distance to other stars might feel like the distance between Earth and Pluto does to us today. Technically within reach, but only with immense investments in terms of time, ingenuity, and resources. This is really cool, this man. This begins their transition towards Type 3. This step is so far Whoa. beyond us that it becomes hard to imagine what exactly yeah. these challenges will Kinda look like, like and how they'll be solved. Will they be able to find a solution donut. to vast distances I hope and it's a donut. times of hundreds or thousands of years? Nice. Will they be Star able Wars to up communicate and keep a shared culture and biology between colonies light years apart? Or will they split into separate Type 2 civilizations? Maybe oh. even different species? Are there deadly challenges between the stars? Bro. So the closer a species gets to Type 3, the harder it becomes to fathom Whoa. what it might actually look like. That's an ant. They might discover new physics, may understand and Matrix? control dark matter and energy, or dark be matter able would to be dope. faster than light. We might be unable to what grasp their motives, technology, and actions. Humans are the ants, trying to understand the galactic metropolitan area. This is such a dope a way to look at it. civilization might already consider humanity too primitive to even talk to. Wow. A type 3 civilization might feel about as like we feel about the bacteria living on the anthill. Maybe they wouldn't even consider us conscious or our survival relevant. We could only pray that they're nice gods. Huh? But the scale doesn't necessarily end here. I'm getting like so Dragon Ball Super vibes up in here. Might be type four and type five civilizations oh, we got a five. Stretches over galaxy clusters or super clusters, structures comprising thousands of galaxies and trillions of if stars. They were, if the people Ultimately, before them were gods, be what does that make them? Stop. Able to manipulate the entire universe and possibly others. Type Omega civilizations might be the actual creators of our universe for reasons beyond our comprehension. Maybe they were just uh, uh, as flawed as this classification may they be. They just passed by the most mind-blowing thing ever. Things. 
If our ideas about the nature of species that form interstellar civilizations is sort of correct, then we can be pretty sure that there are no civilizations of type oh. 3 and beyond near the Milky Way. Never mind then. Their influence would in all likelihood be so all-encompassing and their technology so far above Some our own star that we miss them. Yeah, you the got a point there. should flash with their activity in thousands of star systems. We should be able to see or detect their artifacts or movements between different parts of their empire. Even if a Type 3 civilization did exist in the past and died a mysterious death, oh, no. we should be able to detect some of the remnants of their empire. But when scientists looked, they didn't find remnants of harvested stars, decaying megastructures, or scars of great interstellar wars. Okay. So they're very likely. This is more the more believable path. In a sense, this is very sad, but also yeah. very reassuring. Yes. It leaves the galaxy <laughs> to us and others similar to us. But I hate that. I so hate that idea. Civilizations to look for maybe somewhere in the spectrum from type 1.5 to yeah, type 2.5. Yeah, the sweet spot, you know. They Not quite gods yet. To understand them and their motives, they may have finished their first megastructures, and they might Dude, be in the process dope. of moving stuff between the stars artwork. and transmitting enormous it. amounts of information into space by accident or on purpose. They would probably also look to the stars and look for others. Then again, He's got a very good point. Maybe progress to Type 2 does not mean expanding outwards, and humanity is still too immature to imagine otherwise. I like that one. For now, all we really know is that we don't haven't like you. seen anybody Okay, bye! Yet, but we've only just <laughs> oh, started beautiful. looking. Until we oh, this is delightful. Find super aliens and can ask them to explain the rules of the universe to us, <laughs> Please and thank us you. have to make do with learning stuff ourselves. Whether you're going back to school, leaving home for the first time, or if you're tape? just entering a new phase in your life, blast for me. Stocked and ready for all your back to school needs. Notebooks Represent and notebooks that merch. to organize your work. Stickers and mugs to make things look nice. Lots and lots of posters to turn your yeah, dorm or room so into cool, an inspiring man. oasis of knowledge. We have new shirts, and for the first time, eight that's kind of old. It's like a year old already. All of these products are designed I've and I've been a tad behind. By the Kurzgesagt merch burbs. Our merch is the easiest way to support what we do and keep our videos free I gotta bless you. I feel satisfied. Thank you for watching. Oh, thank you. Delightful as ever. Alright, that was really, really awesome. It got me thinking, again, like in the previous videos that I talk about, like, it got me thinking about stuff that I never really thought about before. Except this time, I have actually thought about this. Not really a lot, but it, I don't know, it... It, it, there has to be something else out there like I'm not necessarily talking about like a great being that's like super intelligent and stuff but I'm talking about like I don't know either below us or trying to use the scale that was during the video hopefully you didn't hear that uh, I'm trying to use the scale during the video uh yeah the ones that are like close to us or a little behind us it could be totally plausible because we're just now understanding how to like transmit signals and stuff like that so Who's to say that they're not quite ready to receive them, if that makes any sense? Like, if they're a primitive planet or a primitive galaxy, whatever you want to like it, whatever scale you want to think about, uh, they're, I don't know, it, it is a possibility and it's totally plausible for that to happen and they just cannot communicate with us or they're not even getting what we dish out to try to communicate with anything other other than us humans outside this world. I don't know, I'm babbling a lot, so I'm probably gonna end this video here, but yeah, super awesome video, like always. I love just space talk and just galaxies and like other species and stuff. I love it so much. It's probably my favorite thing to talk about. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, I got merch, check it out down below. So I will see y'all in the next episode. Later days.